your report of the Uganda Human Rights Commission. The Uganda Human Rights Commission today released its 21st annual report on the state of human rights in Uganda for the year 2018. But I know there are people who are better than... An emerging issue is the rise in pre-trial detention. In 2018, the Commission registered 323 pre-trial detainees. While pre-trial detention should be the exception rather than the rule, it is common in Uganda. 296 complaints were made against the Special Investigations Unit of the Police Force, while 14 were made against the Chieftaincy of Military Intelligence. For the last 21 years we've been talking about pre-trial detention. When is this going to stop? And uh, that involves detention of people beyond the 48 hours as required by the Constitution. Another disturbing thing that many people don't talk about is the detention of civil debtors, which is a blatant violation of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Also, 2018 saw an increase in prolonged detention on remand. Over the years, the Commission has made recommendations to government on how to ease the strain on the prison system, but most of these recommendations have not been implemented. The only I think it debated was a report, and the only part they debated, I just did, I think, a year or so, was the safe houses at that time. We used to have meetings with the security agencies on a regular basis, and this used to help us. It has gone down, it had the uh, seized, but now they have said, no, we must re reconstitute it, so that we keep comparing the uh, not the... Uh, other issues of concern in the report is the rise in sexual gender-based violence and restrictions on freedom of expression. Gillian Nantume, NTV.